What's up, guys? It's QP. That is the door to the man cave, and uh, I'm just going to pan around here real quick and show you guys a little bit what we're going to be talking about here today. Um, just kind of show you guys. Got a new dual monitor setup, which is pretty sweet. Uh, <clears throat> these things right here. Shit, I'm in the light. HP A2s. My favorite headset of all times. They're dirty sexy. They get the job done. Microphone broke. Uh, for those of you guys, real quick, that aren't familiar with the uh, HP A2s, they are a PC headset. However, due to that 5.1 digital decoder that I've got right there, I can run them through my Xbox to get 5.1 true sound. It's pretty sweet. Well, the uh, boom microphone broke, and I'm going to set this down. I'm recording this for my iPhone, so you guys will have to excuse me a little bit. This is my third attempt at doing this. One, because I'm kind of tall and I kept cutting my head off in the deal. But in order to replace the headset or the microphone, um, the HP A2 is discontinued. So what had to go on with the X31 boom microphone, which the part was eight bucks, shipping was like 22, so all in all it was 30 bucks. I figured, you know what, what the hell, might as well spend a little bit of money, invest in a newer headset, maybe I'll find something I like and, and be happy with it. So I did a bunch of research, I looked at the Triton PC 510 HDs, I looked at the uh, Z6As from Turtle Beach, which is basically kind of the same thing as the HP 2s They're just really gaudy looking and looking kind of my thing. And then I, I, I kind of went in gadget, you know, different websites, those types of places, and looked for um, some different options. And I, I want True 5.1. That's a big, big thing to me. Um, the, the directional sound and those types of things are sweet. So I did a bunch of reviews. Me being the tight ass and frugal bastard that I am, decided that um, I, I want something that, that's going to have great quality and I want something that's going to, you know, withstand a lot of time and a lot of use because I play a lot of games. And what I found, and I actually unboxed this already, so you guys will have to excuse me for that. Um, it was very difficult to get these out. Uh, Cooler Master CM Storm Series 5.1. Uh, these were one of the highest rated sound quality headsets that I could find um, in the price range that they're in. They are a gaming headset. Cooler Master is typically more, you know, PC casing, uh, cooling fans, gaming, gaming mouse, gaming keyboard, that kind of stuff. Um, and they ventured off and built a, a gaming headset, which is, by all standards, from what I can tell, pretty sweet. I haven't got to use them yet. I'll, I'll explain some of my troubles that I'm probably going to have. But this is the headset. Very, very sturdy design. A um, little heavy, which concerns me a tad bit, but has this huge cushion. Just so you guys can see what they look like on my head. Hopefully I haven't cut it off this time. Um, they are a headset. <laughs> the microphone, the way the microphone works, lower it, microphone turns on. Raise it, microphone turns off. Um, it does have a good grip feel to it, so it doesn't feel like you know it's just going to be flopping around and falling down all the time. Uh, one very, very important thing to me and to most gamers, braided cables. Uh, braided cables are key because they don't twist and get knotted, and, and they just they kind of fall in place rather than trying to sit or catch on shit, which is pretty slick. Now what these do is these connect through a... 10 pin din, 10 pin mini din to the hub. Now I'm going to try and scoot up a little bit so I can show you guys the hub. They connect, the headset connects to here and then your hub, which is your mass controls, this is kind of like your mix amp. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's all one touch push button, uh, turn the dial for control. Uh, you do get software drivers that come in the package and then basically this would hook into your PC via two USB cords. Uh, one's for power, one is, to, one is for the sound, and then you would use the drivers to adjust the surround sound piece of it. Well, or your second option, which is how the HPA 2s work, the HPA 2s come with component cables and are connected to, through a DIN to your headset. Um, the problem that I can see myself having, if you guys can tell, um, these are still tied up, I haven't even opened them yet, there is no way for me to control the volume running through the Xbox. 
Um, I'm going to attempt, and, and real quick, the HPA 2s come with this bad boy. Um, what this is, this is an inline amplifier. Plug turns on, master volume controls, control the sub, center channels, those types of things. Um, this is a 9 pin DIN, mini DIN. So I don't know if this is going to work for that. If it doesn't, uh, I did do some double checking with Cougar Master and they do plan on actually bringing out an adapter that is going to uh, make it to where you can plug those bad boys directly in and you won't have to have you know the, the decoder and all that kind of shit, which would be sweet. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to give them a whirl on the PC, I'm going to give them a whirl on my Xbox, just kind of see what my thoughts are on the sound quality, um, if they're an actual viable option. I mean, they're not very expensive from a headset perspective. They're $130. Um, by the time, if, from a PC standpoint, they might be on the higher end. I'm not real sure. I'm, I'm not a big PC gamer, but from a console perspective, you know, the X41s, you end up dropping 200 bucks on. You get uh, virtual surround sound, wireless, all kinds of distortion problems. Um, by the time you get a decoder or something along those lines, you would probably be pushing up the $200 mark. But that's, I, I'm totally okay with that. As long as I get a good product, I'm fine with it. But like I said, I'm going to do some testing with these. Um, I'm really excited to try them out. Uh, they, 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 they look sexy from all the readings. They hopefully sound sexy too. And um, we're going to see if I can't figure out how to get these bad boys to work on my Xbox. I, I ran across two reviews today that brought up a 10-pin connector and I freaked out when I saw that my I knew that my um, my turtle beaches are on a nine pin so we're gonna see what we can do to figure that out and maybe make this work so guys I appreciate you watching please remember to like or dislike the video uh, oh yeah there will be a full review on these once I get them done I'm probably gonna test them for a week or two uh, get some get some good hours in good time log so that way I can offer you guys you know an actual viable option here so Thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. See you.